Faleji Kembaka. I want to introduce myself to you and the evil leaders in Nigeria you are working for. My name is Pastor Milako, the servant of the Most High God, the slave of the Word of God, the slave of the power that was allotted Jesus from the dead, the slave of the name of Jesus, the slave of the blood Jesus, she and cross of Calvary. I fear no man born of a woman. I have respect for woman being. I am here to report you, and I am here to tell you the truth of the word of God. <laughs> Father, he came back, I, Pastor Milako, the slave of the power that rose on the Jesus from the dead, I challenge your announcement. I challenge your declaration <laughs> that you said, my hand are clean. I declare judgment upon those that cost me. How can you cause those who are telling you the truth, Father Edgy Kembaka? Mm. How can you cause those that are telling you the truth? How can you declare judgment upon the people who tell you the truth? How can you cause the people who are telling you the truth? Father Edgy Kembaka, how can you cause them? People who want you to repent. People who want you to change your way. People who want you to come back to Jesus. People who want you to surrender your life back to the leadership of Jesus. People that are telling you the truth, that are booking you, that see that you are no more man of God, that you are a cattle. You are the empty cattle. That you have allowed yourself to be removed by the evil leaders. You have allowed yourself to be removed by the evil leaders in Nigeria. By the president of Nigeria, by Buhari. You have allowed yourself to be removed by the wicked one in Nigeria. Evil leaders in Nigeria. They want you to be free from them. They are booking you. They are telling you the truth. And you have said that you declare judgment upon them. Who declare judgment upon you? I want you to declare the same judgment. I love challenge in my life. I love to prove my God without challenge. The name of Jesus can never be revealed. It can never be glorified on earth. That is why I love challenge. I am here telling you that you are lying. Agreement prophecy is not a vision from God. Father E.G. Kempaka. How can you declare judgment upon the people who are telling you the truth? Who want you to repent of your concert prophecy? Who want you to repent from your agreement prophecy? Who want you to change? To stop lying? To stop saying, to say the Lord, why God did not say? They want you to be free. Even when Jesus Christ of Nazareth suffered in the eyes of the man for the truth about God. He did not cause them. But he prayed for the mercy of God on them. Even when John the Baptist suffered in the hands of men for the truth about the word of God, he did not cause them. He prayed for the mercy of God on them. Even when Apostle Paul suffered in the hands of men for the truth about the word of God, he did not cause them. He prayed for the mercy of God upon them. He asked God for the mercy of God upon them. But Father H, he came back and declared judgment on people based on the prophecy of consent, based on the agreement prophecy. Father H, he came back and announced cause upon people because of the fake prophecy. Because of agreement prophecy, because of concept prophecy, an agreement prophecy is not a vision of God. Father G. Kempaka, stop lying. An agreement prophecy is not a vision of God, but a devil vision. An agreement prophecy is not the word of God, but the word of the devil. Mbaka, why do you give up the salvation of Jesus, which is the most 
important thing on earth, the most achievement on earth. Why do you abandon the salvation? Why can't you reboot them? Those evil leaders in Nigeria that are removing you, they have turned you, you become, they have turned your life outside down. You become a robot. They push you up and down. They remove you up and down. AG came back. Why can't you say no, 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 no to A4? Why can't you report them? Why can't you tell them about the coming of Jesus? About the resurrection of Jesus? Why can't you let them know that Jesus is coming very soon? Father AG came back. Why can't you say the truth? AG came back a while. Why can't you say the truth? Why should you give up your anointing? Why should you allow them to dry up all your anointing? Eat up all your anointing? Anointing of God is no more in you. What is in you is anointing of Buhari. Anointing of the evil leaders in Nigeria have possessed you. The anointing have possessed you and control you. Why? AG came back a while. John the Baptist came into the world as a witness to testify about Jesus Christ of Nazareth, about the coming of Jesus. He made a way for Jesus. But Mbaka came into the world as a witness to testify for evil leaders in Nigeria, to preach about the evil leaders. To adopt the word of evil leaders in Israel, to support them to continue doing their evil, instead of Mbaka to reboot them, Mbaka you support them, you preach about them, you allow them to catch you, catch you, why? The word of God in the book of John chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 says, There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that lie, so that through him all might believe. Him himself was not a lie. He came only as a witness to the lie. John the Baptist came as a witness to the lie. He came to preach about Jesus. But in Baca, you came as a witness to the evil leader, to preach about evil leaders. Why? Mbaka, why? Mbaka, why? Chai! Chai, Mbaka. Ewo. You allow the wicked to overcome you, to light up anointing of God in you. It's not a surprise to me because I know that as long you set your heart in the things of the earth, as long you love the world more than God, it's too hard for you to serve God in spirit and the truth. It's too hard for you to follow the will of God. But I tell you something, agreement prophecy is not the word of God. It's not a prophecy from the most high. That prophecy is from Buhari. That prophecy is from APC, that prophecy is from the evil leaders in Nigeria, not from God. Mbaka, stop lying. Stop saying, talk, say the Lord, what God did not say. Change, Mbaka. Repent. Give your life to Christ. Come closer to Jesus. Jesus still loves you. He cares for you. Jesus wants you back. He wants you to free yourself from them captivity. Mm. Jesus wants you to become his friend, not the friend of the world. Mm. The word of God said, don't you know, Mbaka? Mm. Jesus Christ of Nazareth make it clear. Mm. Don't you know mm. that a friendship with the world means enmity against God? Mm. The friend of the world is enemy of God. Why the enemies of the world is a flame of God? You can never be a flame to the evil leader, evil people, and become a flame to God. It is impossible. Father A.G. Kempaka, repent! I have already introduced my name to you. You can play, you can declare, you can do whatever you like. My name is Pastor Milako, the servant of the Most High God. The slave of the word of God. 
I am not afraid of cattle man like you. Empty cattle like you that opposing himself as a man of God. No. I love challenge. I love challenge. That is the reason why I came. I came into the world to rule the wicked, to rule satanic people, people who turn the word of God upside down, people that is against the word of God, people that allow the wicked to rule them. I was ordained to pull them down, to rule them out, to pull down the stronghold of the enemy. Who is that man or that woman that said that Jesus is not the Lord? Jesus governed the world. Jesus of Nazareth is the true God. He is the true God. He changed not. His word is true. Father he came back up. No one shall any power that was or not Jesus from the dead. Those that are serving our ambulance say why can never or we never challenge the power that rose or not Jesus from the dead. The power that rose or not Jesus from the dead is a great power. People is afraid of you. People is afraid. Some people that call themselves Reverend Father Deacon Apostle, Archbishop, and Apostle afraid of you to tell you the truth. They're afraid to report you. They're afraid to tell you the truth. But I, Pastor Milako, is not afraid of you, Father G. Kempaka. I am afraid of the living God, my God, and Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No, Father G. Kempaka, I am not afraid of you because the spirit of the most high God is no longer in you. You are an empty man. God bless everyone. And bless you, Father G. Kimbaka. If you repent, I give you a life to cry. If you come back to Jesus, if you confess your sin and forsake that, it shall be well with you. And it shall be well with everyone that surrender his life to the Christ. Surrender his life to the leadership of Jesus. And put this word in action and know that Jesus is the Lord. God bless you, and peace of God be unto you once again. God bless you. I am Pastor Mielako, the servant of the Most High God. I am not afraid of the day, but I pray that I will die for the sake of the Word of God. For the sake of the Word of God, that is my desire, that I will die for the sake of the coming of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you once again. God bless you.